Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am working with some leftover paints today, which means that I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try, try something I've never done before um, and use up some of my leftover paints. So a couple of these I have mixed up specifically for this, um, this pour, but uh, this is from my slop bucket. It's kind of a uh, dark gray, it has a little bit of a green undertone to it, but I also see some metallics in there. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in that. Uh, table scrapings, leftovers, all that kind of stuff. And I have strained that because I knew that there was some, uh, since it was table scrapings, I knew there were gonna be some extra little bits in there. And I've gotten all those goobers out, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, and then I have Amsterdam uh, Pearl White, Amsterdam Titanium White, and I've added some DecoArt Satin Enamels to this. And I have um, Amsterdam uh, Sky Blue Light which is, uh, I just mixed up also. Uh, this is a mix of DecoArt 24 karat, uh, not 24 karat, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Copper and uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal. And this is a mix of DecoArt 24 karat gold and Josonia's Pale Gold. And this is a mix of Amsterdam Greenish Blue and Folk Art Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. Ooh, I got all that right. Okay, on the first try. <laughs> I'm going to do two canvases at the same time. This one I have on my spinner. This one I have up on push pins. They're both taped on the back. Um, what I'm planning on doing is a flip cup on this one. And uh, you'll see that I've already got a pin in the cup. I'm not going to do a grenade pour, but I am going to do a flip cup and then as soon as I flip it over, I'm gonna transfer it over to this canvas. This one will have a base coat down, so then I will pull the pin so that I get as much draining off of this cup as possible, and that one I'm just gonna spin out and see if I can get a really cool kind of um, minimal circular kind of design. I don't know. Well, I've had this idea in my head for a while and I decided to try it tonight, so let's see if it works. So flip cup on this side, and then a spun out drip um, drained cup. I don't know what we're gonna call it, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is layer this cup.
But nothing ever stopped me From dusting off my shoes You might think you'll see me Falling to the ground But I threw up my umbrella When rain stopped sitting down Yeah! On a bad day On a good day I don't need no sunshine Cause I'm dancing with the rain You will see me running Thinking I might be insane I don't need no sunshine You keep me going strong I just need my happy face To keep me moving on the wet results of my one of my crazy experiments well at least the flip cup is pretty i love these colors <gasps> that treasure gold and the copper together Ooh, wow you can see the sparkle in that already or shimmer as a lot of people like to say some really cool boulder cells i love the great motion i love it when that gold and the um the blue, that blue quartz mix came together. That's really cool. Beautiful, I really like this. This is this is really pretty right up my alley. It's soft. That treasure gold and copper almost gave it a, a little bit of a pink uh, as it mixed with the white. That's interesting. Um, but I really like that. I, I'm happy with that flip cup. This, on the other hand, did not work out at all like I thought it would. So obviously I went to the flick and spin to try and get something interesting out of it. And it was way off center. So um, I struggled with this for a bit. I actually really like the way these lines kind of uh, spun out. Um, I wonder if I can enhance that some way. Maybe my th paints were thinner. That would be interesting. I love that base coat color that's coming up through. That's really nice. Gives it a lot of depth in there. This isn't a total waste. Um, this is really pretty here in the center. It took me like five tries to get it, but I really like how that looks now. Almost like a chrysanthemum there in the center. That's beautiful. And um, I love that blue. Looks really good with all of the other colors. Yeah, I mean, Composition, oh, I'm falling off my stool. Um, composition wise, um, I'm not a big fan, but colors, uh, the colors are fantastic together. There's good, there's good motion in it. I like it 80%, I guess. 
So there you go. It's a keeper. I'm not going to scrape it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you like this video. Please stay tuned for the dry results. And here are the dry results. This is the uh, flip cup and it dried beautifully. It looks just like it did when it was wet, I think. Uh, nothing has changed. Still love these awesome cells from the copper and the gold and the um, uh, fire opal. Really, really nice. I'm very happy with this one. I'm kind of thinking maybe I want to do that on a larger canvas. That's really pretty. Um, and then this one has actually grown on me a little bit. I like it better now that that dark gray has dried black. It's beautiful this way. I love how that dried. It acted like a gray during the pour, meaning that it didn't take over any of the colors. Sometimes black will swallow up other colors but it did not do that at all. It acted like a gray and um, became part of the piece, uh, but it dried black, which is fantastic. So I do like this better now, only in this particular orientation. I don't, I've tried it, uh, I flipped around a couple different ways. I didn't like it, but I do not mind it this direction. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, and also I wasn't able to show you my uh, dry results from my last two videos. So I'm going to do that now. Also, hold on just a sec. So here is the uh, reflection swipe that I did with the fire opal and the blue quartz and the gold on a black background. And I used really wide swipes. I think it's beautiful. I really like it. It's kind of like a checkerboard kind of pattern. And these cells are fantastic. When you get up close, look at that section there. That is just amazing. I love these cells. They're gorgeous. Um, I'm sorry in the video, Mina, I was talking to Mina Villegas and she said in the video, you couldn't see these cells at all until I did the wet close up. So I'm gonna to work on getting better lighting and maybe a better camera here in my studio. So it appears better while I'm filming it. But look at that section there. Oof, so pretty. I love it. Okay, so there's that one. And then I also have the violet one. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I'm going to try and do this fast before my neighbor starts up his saw again. <laughs> so this, is, oh, there he goes. This is the one that I use the um, deep violet from Liquitex Basics and uh, the gold and the pearl white. And I love it. Um, but it did shift around a little bit on me. You see how this kind of gets a little wobbly rather than being straight like the rest of them. Um, and that is because when I laid down my layer of swipe colors, um, I forgot to tilt side to side before I swiped. So there was a lot more paint in this section over here. Um, if I had tilted it before I swiped just side to side and leveled that paint out a little better, it would have held its shape a little better. But I, again, I'm loving these colors. I love the structure. I love the negative space. Uh, I love the glow here in this section. So pretty. And all those gold cells are really awesome. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Please give me a, a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and then come back and see me sometime.